Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need your very own website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Henry Turner. So I have to show you this, guys. I'm gonna turn the camera around and give you a first person view of the, the journey I've just took as I've come through that gate. Prepare yourselves, right? Ready to, get ready to be spun around. There we go. So I've come down this path here. If you haven't gathered already, I'm in the pursuit of bluebells and I've come around here like this. Oh, get a look at that. How gorgeous does that look? And if there was ever a time to say, what a treat, this is it. Um, so welcome back to the channel. Today, I actually wanna talk about um, something that we should really be doing um, as landscape photographers. It's a really simple technique. It's a compositional technique, and we'll get into it in this video. But I think, um, and I believe, if we don't perform this technique, <laughs> it can ruin so many of our photographs. And we're all capable of it as well. You know, it's not gear dependent or anything like that. But as I'm sure you'll agree, we're in for a treat this evening. You know what? This is potentially the most awkward photograph I've ever taken since I first picked up a camera. This is so awkward on so many different levels and I'm gonna be babbling here, guys, just to give you a warning. <laughs> Firstly, the camera, the video camera, you guys are dead straight. Oh, look at that gradient. This is madness. Um, now, before we get into this particular photograph, because you're probably quite interested in this position <laughs> that I'm in, um, Let's talk about the premise, the topic of today's video. Um, what can ruin so many of our photographs? And it is simply, let's call it perspective. Where we and our, our camera are physically placed in the scene. And this is exactly why I've come to the woodland today, guys, because it is accentuated in the woodland. And it's so important where we are placing our camera. Look at these bluebells down here. If you haven't gathered already, these are gonna be my foreground element. I've got the 14 to 30 millimeter lens on. So even though these look quite small, they look very small down here to me, shooting at 14 mil, these are taking up almost one third of my composition. These are so, so important. And if I move even slightly, I mean, what are we talking here? That's five centimeters or something like that. Absolutely nothing. If I move a bit to the left, it just changes the composition so, so much. And um, it's, like I said, it's, it's, it's like one of the only things that we've got control over. It's so important. You know, we don't have control of the light. We're not in a studio. We don't have control over our subjects. We can't change how they look. We don't have control over the weather. This is one of the few things as landscape photographers that we do have control over. So we need to use it wisely. Um, so this particular photograph, if I was to explain this to you, I would be babbling for minutes and minutes and minutes. And I know some of you is like that, but <laughs> um, I don't. So I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet if I can. Um, these are right in the front and then I've got the sun off in the background and again I've moved left and right and I've deliberately made sure that the sun is coming through you can see it's hitting my face coming through some of these trees straight into my camera lens and this is an image that is all about the light let me tell you um, it's a focus stack it's an exposure blend it's absolute carnage let me tell you this is going to be tricky in post-production but I think it's all gonna be worth it. Beautiful bluebells in the, in the foreground. I've got a sun star effect shooting at F20. So the sun is streaming through. Oh my goodness me, it looks so gorgeous. I promise you, if I can get the post-production right. Um, so yeah, tricky one to shoot. All about the perspective. I do hope you like it. Oh, 
So, as you can see there, there's only one place to go. We are down here in the shade. We want to be over there in that gorgeous looking light. Before we carry on, I must say another massive thank you to today's video sponsor, which you've probably seen at the start, is Squarespace. If you don't know who they are, Squarespace is a website or a platform that you can go on and create your own website. And take it from me, it's wonderfully easy. They've got loads of fantastic templates that you can use. Um, and you can either use the templates and be done with it, or you can customize them on top of that, which is what I did, and you know, really make it your own. They've also got some fantastic e-commerce options, which basically means you can sell things on your website, um, which I use to sell my prints, of course, my e-books. I advertise my one-to-one -one workshops on there, things like that. Brilliant. And you don't have to sell things on it, you know, it can just be a great place to showcase your art or your work. And it goes without saying, it doesn't just have to be landscape photography as well. It can be for anything. So if you want to give them a go, they come highly recommended from me. Go to squarespace.com forward slash Henry Turner and get yourself a lovely free trial. And if you like your free trial, make sure you use the offer code Henry Turner at checkout to get yourself 10% off your first purchase. Brilliant. Let's get ourselves into this light. I have been walking. I've been walking my legs. I've been walking for about two and a half hours. I just checked my watch. I've done over 10 kilometers. The legs are in bits. I've even had a couple of tumbles as well. That's when you know you're getting stuck in. Um, so another photograph here. First things first, just in case anyone's wondering, the little blue thing here is not gonna be in my foreground. If anyone knows what they are, by the way, can you let me know? I see them all the time. I assume it's holding like animal feed for pheasant shooting or something i don't know but please let me know i've always wondered um i'm looking forward to this photograph just as much as the last to be honest the best thing that, that i'm liking about this is that it's quite wide it's a bit of a wider shot of the bluebell woodland you know um so before we get into the composition i have used the powers of perspective as, uh, again let's call it the the photographer's shuffle the little lefts and the rights and the ups and downs the left and the right here so important and it's all just to make sure that my subjects feel right within the frame and i've got one word for you and this is a great example of this gaps <laughs> i am obsessed with gaps in my composition in landscape photography and what i mean by that is here for example i've got probably four maybe five prominent tree trunks within the frame and each gap um, in between each of the trunks are so important to me i've tried to make them equidistant and you know what it just breathes it just feels right it flows in the composition you know and it's again it's so important just because i haven't got something really really close to this lens here it doesn't make any difference you know the little landscape photographer's shuffle left and right especially in this instance like i said so so important so it's quite a simple composition and all i'm doing really is making the most of the light we're just coming into the golden hour now it's going to dip down below some of these i mean these woodlands are really undulating so i might even lose it within the next 20 minutes and all i've been doing is just walking around following these patches of light and you can see we've just got these strips across the woodland floor across all of the bluebells of course um so composition like i said four or five tree trunks i've got two nice straight ones that are on the left and right hand side of the frame and then two in the middle that are sort of leaning into each other it's wonderful um I'm actually focused on the closest trunks to me. I'm putting an f5.6 so we get a little bit of blur as we go off into the, into the background, only a tiny bit, um, which helps to get rid of some of the distractions in the background. And I like it. Um, I'm shooting at ISO 400 so I can get a shutter speed of 1 125th of a second. Now that's important because, I mean, not at the minute, as is always the case, but we are getting quite a lot of breezes through this forest and I want a fast shutter speed to freeze the motion in any leaves. If you watched last week's video, 
This is a perfect example of when not to use aperture priority mode. This is when you need to be using manual mode and you know really have a, a hold on all of those settings. You need to know exactly what's going on. Um, and that is that, a lovely composition. I do not think there's much better than when the light is like this for a landscape photography. It's, it's glorious and because of that I just, I'm shattered. I'm absolutely knackered and I'm hungry. I've got a curry waiting for me at home. I know I have. It's leftovers. But I, uh, I have to keep going because I suppose this is what I've been waiting for. This, this light, look at the shadows. I always say you do not have light without the shadows. The shadows are so gorgeous and important. Now before I carry on and hopefully try and get another shot, um, what did I just think of? Then I have to mention this. Everything that I've been talking about today, let's call it the, the photographer's shuffle. It's got a bit of a ring to it, that, hasn't it? Uh, but you know what I mean, that control we have over perspective. Um, that's something that cannot be replicated in post-production as well. So it's even more reason, in my opinion, that we should be pedantic about it, over the top about this, this control over perspective that we have when we're working composition, you know, when we're framing up shots. I think it's really important and yeah that's another good reason I think. Um, right, get a look at the light, fingers crossed we can find one more shot. Oh, I can almost guarantee that one or two of you said it. Only a couple of seconds ago I was talking about this very scene and it just occurred to me well, I'm bigging it up so much. Why don't I take a photograph of it? So that's all I'm doing here, guys. Um, the light's just so nice. Look at it streaming in up at your top left. I've got the wide angle lens on again. In many ways, it's gonna be quite similar to the first shot. Obviously there's no bluebells in it or anything, but I've got the wide angle lens getting in close to this stone wall and just allowing it um, to lead in to the big oak tree there uh, behind my massive head there he is. So it's nice, it's a nice left right balance because we've got the stone wall on the left, the oak tree on the right and then all this light is kind of streaming into everything, you know, it's class. And even down here, look at this, down on the stone wall, we've got these nice patches of light. Um, brilliant, I think my favorite part of the images, let me show you this, or just my favorite part of the scene, is the leaves of the oak tree, look at them. Look how they're lighting up from this position here. Those gorgeous spring leaves and they're so vibrant and golden, you know, because they're, they're being sort of, Heat by all that beautiful evening light. <sighs> Bliss. <sighs> Bliss indeed. Living the dream. Guys, I am absolutely done for. I don't know why I've decided to stop again and get my camera out. This is gonna be the last shot. I am so shattered. <laughs> I just cannot, I can't deny that. I cannot deny it. Um, this is, yeah, this is the last shot of the day. Um, simple portrait dimension. I have took one in landscape as well, just in case. I prefer it when I get back. Insurance policy, ISO 64. It's dead still now, so I don't have to worry about my shutter speed. Um, shutter speed is one half of a second, so that's quite long. And I'm at f18. I'm not focus stacking it, I'm just focusing about one third of the way up from the bottom of the frame. Um, f18 will, you know, that's really, that's a right closed aperture. And uh, it also gets me a sun star as well. Right, I need my chicken madras. Thank you so much for tuning in, listening to me babble. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Please hit the thumbs up button as well. It does help me out on YouTube. It does help me out. I'm out here living the dream. Hope you like this last shot. Ah, <laughs> oh, out.